Hey, what's up guys? Shuckle King here, bringing you my week eight team builder and battle for APA. We are facing off against Automatic this week. Great guy, one of my favorite people in the Wi-Fi community. He does a ton for it, so definitely go check out his content down below. Uh, he's not doing the greatest this season, which is unfortunate for him, but if he wins out, he could maybe make playoffs. So uh, hopefully we can give him a loss that way. Uh, he's definitely out of playoff contention, but yeah, I don't know. He's not out of it yet, but we are definitely in much better shape sitting at four and three. And if we go to five and three, that seems a lot better than being a four and four, especially with Broken Urshifu, as you see on the screen right there. But make sure you guys consider subbing to my channel. Uh, definitely appreciate everyone's support. Uh, and again, make sure you take out automatic side as well. So Otto's team, he has the Garchomp, which always a scary mon. He has Heatran, which is not as great in this game, um, but it handles a Melmetal. Like if I'm double Iron Bash, that'd be annoying if I got a burn from it. Um, Slowbro is also annoying for the Melmetal. Weezing is also annoying. It's not annoying for the Melmetal. Uh, Slowbro is good. I could see it being like Culberberry and maybe Body Press or Scald or something to uh, take on the Urshifu. That seems pretty solid. The Gatler Weezing is like one of the best answers to Urshifu in the game. I'm not really a big fan of the mod, but it does take on Urshifu. So uh, that's unfortunate there. Thunderous T, as you saw versus Shea last week, uh, Thunderous forms are definitely annoying, and this one's even stronger. But I think I actually have better ways to handle Thunderous T than Thunderous Eye on this team, and you'll see why. Um, Heracross, super scary mon. My switch in would be like a Crobat. It can take stabs, but not really a knockoff great. Um, and kind of the same for Golurk. Uh, Clefairy is also okay, but Clefairy doesn't take a facade if it's that set. Uh, the Sidui, I, I generally don't think it's the greatest mon, but it has a lot of versatility, so I have to watch out for that. Umbreon is like 100% coming, because that's a great answer to my Necrozma. If I'm toxic, it beats it. If it's Heal Bell, like, there's really no way that my Necrozma can reliably beat Umbreon. So that's annoying. Um, Sincino, I think it's a decent chance to come too. And Speed Ties, a Stormy, I can even see it being Scarf Play Rough to basically kill my Urshifu, unless I had a lot of bulk. Um, or it could just be Life Orb Banded. Um, those sets are fine as well. It breaks like my Dragonite's multi skill. Uh, so that seems like a pretty good combination there. And Frostlass, um, I think Frostlass is really good this game. Getting spikes up, uh, just being really fast. Uh, my Urshifu, uh, Mel Metal takes it on fine Urshifu because its Scarf handles it fine, but. Like, that mine can do a lot of damage. So, the first mine, as you see here, is Urshifu. Scarf, pretty straightforward. And then the headbutt hitting the Weezing plus the Heracross is definitely a plus. Um, I had Bandit on this for a while, but I think Scarf is good. It also outspeeds the Garchomp, which I think I'm a little bit weak to, so definitely having answers there at. Seems like a pretty good idea. Um, and I could Urshifu... Uh, <laughs> U turn with Urshifu onto, like, a Rotom... Uh, or, like, on a Weezing and then bring in my Necrozma. I think that's a general game plan. Um, have Urshifu out. Weezing's probably to switch in with Rocky Helmet, and then I U-turn go into my Necrozma, um, which might not be the best plan because he can go right into Umbreon and like pretty much hard on any set, as I mentioned, but maybe not this Necrozma set. Iron Defense sub, Call Mine Power Gem, like this could potentially like win the game. It also could put, like, put me in like a pretty bad spot if I just lose this mon, because it's super risky. Like Power Gem's doing nothing to guard jump. Uh, but once I get Iron Defenses up, unless he sword stands guard chomp, he's not doing a ton to me in return either. Um, no recovery on this set, but behind a sub, I should take, and an Iron Defense, I should take a Umbreon fail play. I think against Umbreon, first time I go for a sub, uh, just to see if he's toxic. And then if he does go for fail play and breaks my sub, I can go for an Iron Defense. And that's not going to be doing a lot of damage to me with a fail play. And then I can go for subs and... Be a little bit sneaky there. So hopefully this Necrozma set can can sweep. Especially with Calm Mind. He's not going to have much to get past me offensively. And Power Gem has enough PP to like where I can kill the entire team with this coverage. Um, next is Dormy. Um, I don't have a Grounded Poison. No Gloom, unfortunately, this game to take on the Thunders. I have different ways. but And then didn't do a great job anyway because Psychic hurt. Um, but yeah, Stormy here with Ice Beam Scald. Stabs. Uh, Rapid Spin and Flip Turn. I could see Weezing being a T-Spike set. Um, so I definitely want to remove those for uh, Hazard, for Necrozma, for Urshifu, and maybe for other mods I have on the team. Um, I like just offensive star. I mean, it's been great for me this this uh, second part of the uh, APA season. Um, and Flood Turn gives me momentum. It outspeeds the Sincino, unless if he's also Scarf and Rissa Speed Tight. It also outspeeds Garchomp, even after like a uh, 
scale shot as long as it's not scarf scale shot. So I should be pretty good there. Um, no psychic stab to hit the wheezing, but Skull should be doing pretty decent damage anyway. And he'd be scared of me going for psychic, I would imagine. And Umbreon's just such a great switch in. Again, I can go for Stormy, flip turn, and get into my Necrozma or my Urshifu, depending on the circumstance there. Dragonite. <laughs> this is a cool set. Uh, I figured a lot of heat this week. Um, just to have fun with this team. Agility, Hurricane, Dragon Pull, Superpower. Um, the attack at plus two attack kills max defensive Umbreon if it's at full HP and takes rock damage and then goes for protect. So it's like at 94%. Um, I should kill with Superpower if it's max defensive and I'm at plus two. Um, and how my weakness policy could get activated. I have like scale, uh, scale shot guard chomp. As long as it gets three hits um, or two, then I'm fine against it. Um, Slowbro could be Ice Beam. Even though I'm minus special defense, I, I take the hits fine from full. Same with Galar Weezing for uh, Strange Steam. I should take that fine. Hopefully I don't get confused and be okay there. Um, Heracross with, like a Stone Edge would be fine, but I doubt he would go for a Stone Edge. Probably like a knockoff. Um, and Cincino Rock Blasts, that might kill me. Um, and... Ice Beam for Frostlass also probably kills me. Um, so those three other ways are probably the main ways. I think it's really the slow bro or the wheezing because this Mon can set up in front of both of them when it's normally not a great option for Dragonite to uh, be in against either of those Mons. Um, Hurricane at plus two like kills a lot of things. Like that wheezing, it should kill the slow bro because it's probably going to be mass physical defensive to take on like Band and Mill Metal or something like that or the Urshifu. Um, and super power is there for, as I said before, the Umbreon, also for the Heatran. So, plus two speed uh, allows me to outspeed Scarf uh, Cincino, which seems like a stretch, kind of, but it outspeeds Yurshifu. I don't think it's terrible. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this set can do well. We'll see. Another risky set, like the Necrozma. Uh, this might also be a, <laughs> a risky set here. Scarf Golurk um, with rocks. I feel like I can get rocks somewhat easily if I, like, pressure some of his defensive mons like a wheezing if it's not levitate or like a slow bro. If it take a little bit of chip damage, he could die to like banded poltergeist. I don't think he would stay in. Umbreon, again, seems like a pretty safe switch in with foul play. So I can go for rocks there and not show an um scarf. And then maybe later on in the game, I should outspeed a thunderous as long as it's not scarf and go for stone edge. I could outspeed a guard chomp. No, I don't have ice punch. I should to a KO and he shouldn't Oko me back in return. Um, so that should be fine there. But I need Earthquake, Poltergeist, Stone Edge. Would be nice if Ice Punch, but I want to have rocks on this. Um, and last Pokemon is Special Mill Metal. So this Mill Metal was supposed to be toxic in this slot. Like you can see Ice Beam does a lot of damage to Garchomp and I take a hit with Shuckaberry, even at plus two. Um, Slowbro gets to a KO by Thunderbolt after rocks. Um, and I think it might be a roll even when no rocks are up. Um, Weezing gets to a KO by Flash Cannon. No, I don't think Weezing's going to stay in on me. It could go for a burn, but I don't think Weezing stays in. Um, but Umbreon's a pretty nice switch in. So, like, Toxic would have been a great as a last move if he saw that I was special. Um, but I was working, like, an hour and a half before the game, even with auto, to, to try to gen this Mel Metal set. And we just weren't able to get Toxic on a Mel Metal set. Um, there's some compatibility issues there. So last second I threw on Earthquake to hit the Heatran. Um, so yeah, that's my team. It's a, it's a cool team, uh, but we'll see if it's an effective team. So let's get right into the game. All right, here we are for the game. You guys all know how annoying it was to set that game up. Um, definitely on my end. I was late to uh, get this team in time and Auto was helping me um, with the particular issue I had with Mill Metal. Um, but we still weren't able to figure it out after like an hour or so. So hopefully long term, if, the, if I make playoffs and I pick this team for playoffs, I could fix that issue. But this is week eight. This is the last time I'm using a team, at least for now. Maybe ever if I don't make playoffs or if I don't choose it. Unless I have no metal for uh, team three. You guys will have to watch that. But definitely go check out Auto side. He's a great guy. Um, we're leading with Urshifu. I'm going for a U-turn, but we're not going to go for a U-turn because there's a Sinchino on the field and that could have play rough and kill me. Um, so we're going to go into my um, Mel Metal to take this hit because like a Scarf play rough does 90 to 107 to me and he might go for that, um, but he's not going to risk it. So it's probably not Scarfed. 
not scarfed. Um, Cincino. I am gonna go for a Thunderbolt. It should have been a. Oh, it should have been Discharge. I misgen that. Um, that's all right. We're gonna go for a Thunderbolt here. Slow bro, I'm sure it's gonna be the pivot. It is. Um, see how much damage I do. I do a little over 50%. It'd be great if I had Toxic, but um, it looks like it's max phys physically defensive. Uh, what's his switch into a Thunderbolt? He needs to save this. Um, Thunderous? I can go for an Ice Beam and go f get like a pretty decent chip. Let's do that. I don't know if you just sack off your slow bro here. Because I think he wanted to check a lot of things. It could also be Culberberry for the uh, Urshifu. So let's see. Does Thunders come out? Oh yeah, he has an Umbreon. Okay, so that's fine. That takes like 15%. Yeah, so it's, um, is it special defensive? Yeah, probably spit def. We will go into my Urshifu, because I don't really care what this does. Toxic would be annoying, but Tom Pass would be annoying, but, like, I can handle it fine. It goes for a foul play. Okay, I'm fine with this. And now I can go for a U-turn. He can't even protect to, like, scout. Because he would probably die to a hit. So we will U-turn on out of here and gain some momentum. I should be okay to go into my... Um, the Krasma here if he goes into the, uh, the wheezing. Let's see. Slowbro comes out. Okay. Um... Yeah, like 20% is a Rocky Helmet. It's Rocky Helmet. Okay. Which I figured as much. Um, Necrozma. Actually, I'll just go right into the Mill Metal here. I should thread in and out. Yeah, I probably kill with a Thunderbolt here. Double Iron Bash actually would have been kind of nice to have on this set over Earthquake. Heat Ran didn't come, so I didn't necessarily know that was going to be a thing. Um, so let's go into uh, the Krasma here, predicting the Umbreon to come out. I could also have just gone into uh, Urshifu there. But I do know that the Slow King is... Uh, Max defensive. And I'm also faster for what that's worth. Or slow bro, not slow king. Alright, yep, you are gonna switch out like I expected to. Umbreon comes out. Okay. Do you go for foul play here or do you go for toxic? I feel like you go for a toxic here. I would if I was with the, this Umbreon. So I gotta count. He went for one foul play. Foul play, okay. Hmm. I could go for an iron defense here. Yeah, let's just do that. I think I pressure his team a lot. He's going for two. If he goes for Toxic here, that would be a very annoying. Foul play, okay. I'm gonna substitute here. Figuring out what's gonna switch in now. Like, he has a lot of physical mons that don't really wanna take this on that well. 
And like, what are you gonna go into wheezing? It's, I think he's going for three foul plays so far. Baton pass. Okay. All right. So I don't really have to count all these uh, the PP of these moves because he has a baton pass. Chino, level 50, plus two defense, knockoff, doesn't break my sub. Um, if he's life orb, tail slab could break my sub, knockoff won't break my sub. Um, I'll go for an iron defense here. He's going to go for Tail Slap. We'll see if this breaks up or not. And I will, I'll see the Life Ward damage, too. Okay, it does not break sub, so he's not um, Life Orb. Not Life Orb, Sincino. Now I'm at plus four. It's a second of work. Um, I sub here. And I can also see if he's a... Uh, bullet seed, okay. Oh, he's doing nothing. There's the crit. Four damage. There it is. I don't see a reason why I wouldn't just get up to pluck six defense. Bullet seed. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Just like Jolly. Maybe no boosting item. So now I'm at plus six. Tail slab probably breaks my sub. So I think I go for a substitute here. Okay. Yeah, that'll break. Okay. It's not going to break yet. Four damage. Four damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. So four damage at plus six. Oh, he's King's Rock. Okay. I'm surprised King's Rock's not banned. Um, so plus six, he's doing um, like 20 damage. I think I just go for power gems here. He could also miss. Let's see. Four damage, four damage. Okay, so like 40% I did to him, that's not bad. There's also a chance to miss. He also might go into Garchomp on one of these plays, but that's not gonna do a lot to me. There's a crit. And I get flinched, okay. Do I save this? I don't think so. I already set it up. I'll just go for a power gem. It was a funny set.
Would be great if you missed. Ah, uh, that's justice. <laughs> I mean, not justice for how long it took for us to set this game up, but I will take that. If he misses again, I'll be in a range to get a sub up. Four damage, meant to crit. I still should live this. That's why I get a crit here. Okay, no. Um, I think I still live this hit as long as he doesn't get a, a crit, or he could also miss. Four damage, four, three, I should live on one. Flinched again, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> um, does bullet seed kill me? It does three damage, so it would kill me. Um. I'm gonna go for a power gem here. Justice? Nah. Okay. Um, <laughs> it was a funny uh, Necrosmus set. Um, got a little unlucky, but it is what it is. Um, so Necrosmus dead. I can go into Stormy. I think I just go for Scald. Flip turn, probably kills. So let's go for a flip turn. This probably Scream Scarfed, but actually I could have gone an Urshifu. Get a little chip by Rocky Helmet. Um, would Golar kill Slowbro if it's like banded? Yeah, I would. I do want to get rocks up. Um, have him having these rocks up for free is annoying, and I don't think he sacks a slow bro. All right, cool. And I still have the scarf I could bluff. Umbreon comes out. All right, I get rocks up. That's cool. Yeah, man, I wanted the Necrozma set to work. That was a funny set. Um, and now I can't even go to the Mill Metal and uh, go for a. Uh, Toxics because I wasn't able to gen the move in like that would be so great to have right now But I was busy this week, and it's my fault for like genning the team as late as I did so That's definitely on me. I can't really complain about that go for baton pass Going to wheezing here Going to slow bro to no you want to go into slow bro you either go to Heracross or you bring in the uh the wheezing. Um, go into. I can also go into Stormy and go for Scald. Yeah, not having the Toxic on the Mill Metal really is going to make it hard to wear down that Umbreon, especially now that I <laughs> lost the Necrozma. Toxic Spikes come up. Okay. Um, who cares about this? Urshifu and Golurk. So, yeah, I'm going to Rapid Spin these away. There's no way he stays in. Probably goes in the Umbreon. Oh, goes into Slowbro. I mean, that works too. Um, some Rocky Helmet on me. I do have to figure out a chance to get in the... Uh, the... The uh, Dragonite in. 
and try to pop a weakness policy, maybe like going Ice Beam Slow Bro. That's probably the best way to do it. I think from there I have a decent chance to just win the game. Even on like Slow Bro and Strange Steam, but it could also go for Will O Wisp. Heracross comes out. Flame Orb. I mean, you probably go for a uh, Heracross, Guts. Um, Close Combat has a chance to knock me out. It's like a 50 50 chance. If you go for a knockoff, there's not, not that big of a drawback. Um, if I go into Urshifu, I die, obviously, if I go into Golurk. Like, I died to knock off. Um, I think I stay in here and go for Flash Cannon, and then next turn go into Golurk. Predicting him to go for a knock off here. Alright, cool. No Shuckaberry for the, uh, the guard jump, but I do take a hit. I'm going into the Golurk here. And goes for close combat. Perfect. Okay. I kind of had to make that play there. And he doesn't know I'm Scarfed, so Poltergeist would kill. Would he risk the, uh, the Colber Berry, too? Well, now he knows I'm Scarfed and I'm gonna kill it. So, I mean, that's a plus. Um, so Heracross is dead. I mean, that's a, generally a big threat, so I guess that's good to get that out of the way before uh, Dragonite sweeps. Or tries to sweep. We'll see if it'll happen. Umbreon comes out here. Um, go into this. As you probably the time pass, you could foul play. There's also, uh, oh yeah, there's still the guard jump that has rocks, so there's that potential. Yeah, try to bring a different fun team this week. <laughs> we'll see if it works out. I mean, I guess in the craft this set might not have been fun if it stalled out as long as it could have. Man, I like that chip. Um, uh, wheezing. I mean, it's in range of getting to a KO by Zen Headbutt. And I have a flinch chance. You know what? I'll go for it. I think he's not going to go for a strange scene here. And I miss anyway. Great. That's... That's sucky. Not the end of the world, I guess. I think my Stormy still might be able to uh, to get off a spin, but it's going to be tough, especially if he just goes into uh, Umbreon here. I can also go into Slowbro. Yeah, I'll take that. I think I go for a tele or a Thunderbolt here. Maybe I get a crit. Maybe I get a para. I'll take that damage. Flamethrower? Okay. Now I think I go into Stormy and Rapid Spin. He's gonna save this uh 
slow, bro. I'm going to Umbreon. I don't see a world where he doesn't do that. And I'd rather get this spin off. I'm fine with him taking this chip damage. That wheezing is getting low to the point where uh, a hurricane can kill. Just flat out. I also like the damage on the Umbreon. I mean, I need it. Yeah, I think I kill it. Plus, yeah, I kill it plus two um, after rocks. So, like, cause I think he's special defensive. Um, so I'm probably dying here, but I'll get a rapid spin off. Um, so my Stormy is assumingly dead. There goes Stormy. Don't lose connection. Okay. Urshfu comes out. Um, and you turning here. Kind of predictable. I guess, but don't really care either. Like, you can go into slow bro and get some chip damage. I like that. <sighs> I think it's the time. We're going for it. Um, I feel like you scalded our ice beam here. I think you have ice beam. Add agility. Come on, Pete. Scald. Ah, that's annoying. Don't get a burn. Crit. Um, okay, I get a dragon pulse off. Ah, that was annoying. I thought he was gonna go for ice beam there. Even like a, a heal bell set would have just won. Um, Dragonite to uh, Umbreon. I do 59 to 70%. He's like just under 70%. I can go for superpower here. If anything, I'm doing less damage with... Uh, because I have my... Oh, no, the damage would be the same. From a foul play. Okay. So he could go into Weezing here and get some Rocky Helmet damage. If he does that, I'm pretty sure, like, if he comes in the following turn, Dragon Pulse should kill. Okay, so Super Power comes out, kills the Umbreon, great. Umbreon is dead. Oh, I, I clicked on the wrong one, but Slowbro is dead. All right, so he had a decent amount of physical defense, actually. Um, so Weezing's still alive. So let's see, Dragonite to Weezing, level 50, I'm doing like 58. I do a lot of damage. Um, yeah, Hurricane looks good. I'll probably, f I'll, w I'll figure out a way to win the game if I miss. Okay, good. Even if I don't kill, this is good damage. Oh, I just missed out on the kill.
Hmm, what do I go into here? The Golurk probably takes a hit from full. I think I go into Urshifu and just click Close Combat. I don't have Ice Punch on the Golurk. Um... Yeah, I don't think it really matters which move I go for. Is there is there one that does slightly more damage? Guard Chomp. Level 50. I think Wicked Blow might do slightly, slightly more damage. It might come down to a uh, Cincino flinching my Melmetal. We'll see. Because he probably goes for a, uh, a scale shot here, I guess. Or he just goes for a raw kill. But then if he does that, my Golurk should revenge kill. Unless if he Scarf Garchomp. I probably lose if he Scarf Garchomp. Um, let's see. I mean, I got no other play. If he's not Scarf, I have a chance. Okay, I think I lose. Nope, going to Golurk. Yeah, Scarf just wins the game here. Um, I might win if I get a crit with Poltergeist. Um, crit. I don't even care. I would need like a max roll crit. Uh, but I'll go for it because I don't think he uh, he's not going to go into Gentino here. And the Melmetal lost the Shuckaberry. Ah, oh, did Melmetal have a hit? You know what? No, I don't. Yeah, not even close. Does 126, so. Okay, yeah. No Ice Punch here, unfortunately. And I'm gonna die to this Garchomp Max Roll Crit. Nope. It looks like there's some bulk on it either. So good game, Auto. Um, unfortunately, some of those sets didn't work out, but it was a fun build. Um, kind of disappointed I went two and two with this, um, with my broken Urshifu team. It's gonna have to rely on me winning with my uh, team three, which you'll see the team builder in a couple days. It's definitely an interesting team for sure, but man, I really want, oh, I mean, I think Toxic Melmetal honestly could have made the difference this game, but um, no regrets there is what it is. So good game to auto and thank you for trying to help me out uh, to gen that um, at Seth for as long as he did. But unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. Uh, yeah, just imagine a toxic like as the Umbreon would come in like that would just be free toxics. Like in hindsight, double iron bash would have been great to have even on like a modest um, mill metal. And maybe in hindsight, I should have just kept it. Um, double Iron Bash to Umbreon. Yeah, it does like 50%, even with Modest. So, like, I had a move just to hit the Heatran, um, which I don't think was unfair, but with the Toxic, it probably made more sense just to go Double Iron Bash. I was just deciding last second right before the battle started. Um, just going for Earthquake to have damage against the Heatran. I definitely didn't need that, though, because I had... Scarf uh, Golurk to get that kill. Um, but my uh, Dragonite would have been a little harder to sweep if the Heat Ran was still up. So, like, I was fine with that, is what it is. Toxic would have been great. But uh, we're currently 4 and 4. So, hopefully, we can uh, go at least 2 and 2, if not 3 and 1, with my, uh, my uh, Team 3 and try to make playoffs. But, yep, until next time. Later, guys.